40 Years of Hidden Child Molestation from a Pastor Somerset, Pennsylvania, John and Clara Hinton arrived in Somerset, Pennsylvania in 1972. Just two years into their marriage and with the young daughter, the young couple were eager to start their ministry at the Somerset Church of Christ, a small congregation in the rural community. John had completed a Bible degree at Oklahoma Christian University and served as a youth pastor when he stepped into the pulpit. The two would go on to have eleven children, and Clara considered John to be a model husband and father. She described him as soft-spoken and thoughtful, fixing her breakfast every morning. The Double Life One day one of his daughters found him locked in his office looking at pornography, revealing the abuser. The victim who had turned the tables on John Hinton was actually his youngest daughter, Alex. She started having flashbacks, remembering her abuse. She said, I saw this picture of my dad touching me in, in an inappropriate way, but it was one of those things that I would try to play it off, like, oh, he wouldn't actually do that to me. Maybe it was an accident, maybe I'm not remembering something correctly. You know, I just kept trying to brush it off, she explained. Alex then began to research online, wanting to find out if there was anything that would confirm her suspicions. As she looked up the signs of a child sex offender, the pieces began to fall into place. She realized that the attention he gave to younger children, buying them snacks and keeping secrets, was all a part of the process that experts often call grooming. So was his habit of coming alongside families where parents need a break? Alex would also find out that she fit many descriptions of child abuse victims. I thought I was this super babyish kid who was super dependent on my mom until I was like 10 years old, afraid to go to bed and having severe separation anxiety from her and all this kind of stuff. Like, no, it all started to make sense, she explained. A million light bulbs went off. In the weeks that followed, Alex wrestled with a monumental decision, whether or not to go forward with her explosive discovery. She knew that if she shared her secret, everything would change. After making her choice, she went first to her mom, who immediately believed her. To Clara, decades of odd behavior suddenly made sense. Years of weird memories suddenly make sense. Like his mom, Jimmy suddenly recalled years of weird memories and instantly believed his sister. She had no reason to make that up. There was absolutely nothing to gain by making it up, he said. Perhaps most powerfully, Jimmy recalls telling his sister that he believed her. He said, I really think it was the Holy Spirit putting it on my lips in that moment because I really think she needed to hear that, he said. That very weekend, Jimmy had to officiate a church wedding with his father present. He found it excruciating to keep the new secret, but the next step came much easier. How do you report your husband father? Both Jimmy and Clara realized that they must report John Hinton to the authorities. Although they knew the consequences could be devastating, authorities found more than enough to convict John Hinton. Somerset police charged him with 200 counts, including rape of a child, indecent assault of a child, designing obscene material and possessions of a child pornography, in June of 2012, Somerset County Judge John Cassio sentenced a 62-year-old to a minimum of 30 years in state prison. Alex has traveled a road that's not uncommon for abuse victims of spiritual leaders. She stopped attending church and has no desire to go back. As she said, I don't like the idea of God as a fatherly thing, she said. If that's who he is, he wasn't there for me. If my dad was supposed to be someone who was spreading his word, that's not the case at all, she said. Jimmy says he struggled to realize that his dad played them all, keeping his heinous acts a secret. It's a really humbling thing to say, I don't have a clue, said Jimmy. And so my question was, how did we miss it? This channel is dedicated to all those pastors' kids who still suffer from the effects of spiritual abuse 
as I do. May we heal together and gain strength with knowing that we are not alone. 